for nuclear safety and security have all been compromised at the site. Radiation and Other Accidents and Incidents Serious radiation and other accidents and incidents include 1940s. May 1945, Albert Stevens was one of several subjects of a human radiation experiment and was injected with plutonium without his knowledge or informed consent. Although Stevens was the person who received the highest dose of radiation during the plutonium experiments, he was neither the first nor the last subject to be studied. Eighteen people, aged four to sixty-nine, were injected with plutonium. Subjects who were chosen for the experiment had been diagnosed with a terminal disease. They lived from six days up to forty-four years past the time of their injection. Eight of the eighteen died within two years of the injection. Although one cause of death was unknown, a report by William Moss and Roger Eckhard concluded that there was no evidence that any of the patients died for reasons that could be attributed to the plutonium injections. Patients from Rochester, Chicago, and Oak Ridge were also injected with plutonium in the Manhattan Project Human Experiments. 6 to 9 August 1945, on the orders of President Harry S. Truman, a uranium gun design bomb, Little Boy, was used against the city of Hiroshima, Japan. Fat Man, a plutonium implosion design bomb, was used against the city of Nagasaki. The two weapons killed approximately 120,000 to 140,000 civilians and military personnel instantly and thousands more have died over the years from radiation sickness and related cancers. August 1945, criticality accident at U.S. Los Alamos National Laboratory. Harry Daglian dies. May 1946, criticality accident at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Louis Sloten dies. 1950s. 13th of February, 1950, a Convair B-36B crashed in northern British Columbia after jettisoning a Mark IV atomic bomb. This was the first such nuclear weapon loss in history. 12th of December, 1952, NRX AECL Chalk River Laboratories, Chalk River, Ontario, Canada. Partial meltdown, about 10,000 curies released. Approximately 1,202 people were involved in the two-year cleanup. Future President Jimmy Carter was one of the many people that helped clean up the accident. 15th March 1953, Mayak, former Soviet Union. Criticality accident. Contamination of plant personnel occurred. 1st March 1954, the 15 Mark Castle Bravo shot of 1954, which spread considerable nuclear fallout on many Pacific islands, including several which were inhabited and some that had not been evacuated. 1st March 1954, Daigo Fukuryu Maru, Japanese fishing vessel contaminated by fallout from Castle Bravo, first fatality. 2nd March 1954, U.S. Navy tanker USS Patapsco contaminated by fallout from Castle Bravo while sailing from Inuitak Atoll to Pearl Harbor. September 1957, a plutonium fire occurred at the Rocky Flats plant, which resulted in the contamination of Building 71 and the release of plutonium into the atmosphere causing U.S. $118,600 in damage. 21st May 1957, Mayak, former Soviet Union. Criticality accident in the factory number 20 in the collection oxalate decantate after filtering sediment oxalate enriched uranium. Six people received doses of 300 to 1,000 rem, four women and two men, one woman died. 29th of September 1957, Kishtam disaster, nuclear waste storage tank explosion at the same Mayak plant, Russia. No immediate fatalities, though up to 200-plus additional cancer deaths might have ensued from the radioactive contamination of the surrounding area. 270,000 people were exposed to dangerous radiation levels. Over 30 small communities were removed from Soviet maps between 1958 and 1991. INES Level 6, October 1957, Windscale Fire, UK. Fire ignites a plutonium pile, an air-cooled, graphite-moderated, uranium-fueled reactor that was used for plutonium and isotope production and contaminates surrounding dairy farms. An estimated 33 cancer deaths. 1957 to 1964, Rocketdyne located at the Santa Susana Field Lab, 30 miles north of Los Angeles, California, operated 10 experimental nuclear reactors. Numerous accidents occurred, including a core meltdown. Experimental reactors of that era were not required to have the same type of containment structures that shield modern nuclear reactors. During the Cold War time in which the accidents that occurred at Rocketdyne, these events were not publicly reported by the Department of Energy. 1958, 
fuel rupture and fire at the National Research Universal Reactor, NRU, Chalk River, Canada. 10th of February, 1958. Mayak, former Soviet Union. Criticality accident in SCR plant. Conducted experiments to determine the critical mass of enriched uranium in a cylindrical container with different concentrations of uranium in solution. Staff broke the rules and instructions for working with WAM, nuclear fissile material. When SCR personnel received doses from 7,600 to 13,000 rem, three people died, one man got radiation sickness and went blind. 15 October 1958, Vincha, there was a criticality incident in a newly installed reactor. Six young researchers received high doses of radiation and were subsequently treated at Curie Institute in Paris, where one of them died. 30 of December 1958, Cecil Kelly criticality accident at Los Alamos National Laboratory. March 1959, Santa Susana Field Laboratory, Los Angeles, California. Fire in a fuel processing facility. July 1959, Santa Susana Field Laboratory, Los Angeles, California. Partial meltdown. October 15, 1959, a B-52 carrying two nuclear weapons collided in midair with a KC-135 tanker near